Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jimmy here, and today I'll be sharing with you how to quickly and easily draw a goldfish. So if you want to know how, just keep on watching. Let's start off by learning the basic shapes and sketching. First thing that you need to do is make a circle. Don't make it too small though, because this will be the body of our goldfish. Next is to divide the circle horizontally and vertically. This will be our guidelines. For the head of the fish, just make a triangular or beak-like shape. Now it looks like a bird, but it would look more like a fish later on. Alright, now we can add the tail and the fins. Take note of where and how I'm adding them in, and the guidelines will help you place them. And also, if you will notice, I place the fins on the right half of the circle. And here, let's go back to the left half of our guidelines, and this is where you will be placing the front fins, the gill, uh, the eyes, and the mouth. And now let's make the eye. So the eye is very easy to do, it's just one circle and then there's a smaller circle inside it. And then for the mouth, it's just a downward line. And now comes to my favorite part, the tail. If you will notice, the tail is just like drawing a butterfly wing. I'm using a black pencil in here to show you how to add and define the details on our goldfish. Well, I always think that a fish's fins and tail is equivalent to hair in humans. So keep the lines fluid and flowy when you add the strokes on the fins and tail. And just remember, when you do the lines in the fins and tails, make it as thin and light as possible. And as for the scales, just make a C shape or scallop strokes, alternating the one before it, just like what I'm doing here. And now we're done with the outline and sketch. So let's get to applying what I showed you earlier and let's make a full color artwork. So for today, I will be using the Stabilo Aquacolor pencils, but uh, you can use any medium to make this artwork. And for this one, I will be using only four colors. That's gonna be black, brown, orange, 
and yellow. So for step one, I'll be using yellow to make the initial sketch and guidelines. The reason I use yellow is because it is the lightest color and the sketch and guidelines will be almost invisible once I'm done. Since these are watercolor pencils, I use an aqua brush to spread out the yellow color and yellow is also the base color of our goldfish. And in here, I'm just putting in a second layer of color to give it more definition. Alright, let's finish up our base color. And now for step 2. We will be adding the details using the orange aquacolor pencil. And again, I'm using an aqua brush to spread the color and add the shading. Once the paper is dry, I use the orange pencil again to add the lines and details, mostly on the fins and scales. And for the last step, it will be to define the details. This is where we will be using black and brown. Also, use these two colors conservatively. Black and brown is used in here to give your drawing more depth. Although, you can also use black or brown for the outline if you want to achieve a cartoon effect. And now we're done. And in here I'm just adding a few more finishing touches. And that's all there is to it. All it takes is to try it out for yourself and keep on practicing. Once you get the basics, you will be able to make other types of fishes. After a while, you will notice that when drawing fishes, they all follow the same shape and principle. And so that's it for today's tutorial. I do hope that you find this video useful, so go ahead and draw a goldfish today. And if you do, do let me know how it turned out by leaving a comment below. Also, show me what you came up with by tagging me on my Instagram account. And just remember, we're not aiming for a perfect or realistic drawing of a goldfish. Just go ahead and have fun with it and the limit is your imagination. Again, my name is Jimmy and thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this to all of your friends. And for more My Art Life videos, just click on that subscribe button. Thank you for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you again on our next project.